Hey everybody, it's Brett here at moreguitars.com in Evansville, Indiana. And I am excited to talk again about Breedlove guitars and some, some guitars that have really kind of taken off uh, for the brand of Breedlove. And then that's the line. And then the, the body shape of this guitar has really started to gain some traction in our store. And we are loving everything that Breed Love's doing right now. It seems like they've they've uh, they've trudged through the years, and they've they've come up with some really good. Um, they've come up with kind of a landing spot here for the 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 line, you know, for the um, the levels of guitars, the lines that they have, and then also the body shapes. So this particular guitar is an Oregon Myrtlewood Myrtlewood. And it's an elect. It's got electronics in it. It's got the uh, LR bags EAS VTC, which means it has a volume and a tone knob in here, very inconspicuous. Um, and plugged in, these things sound amazing. We didn't we didn't plug it in because this is kind of a um, a spec and go over the the tonal characteristics of the guitar as it's not plugged in, um, as you're hearing it through a good mic and through a good preamp. So it's a true tone, true true. Uh, sound stamp, if you will, of this particular guitar. So again, I, like I said, it's a Myrtle Myrtle is what how we say it. And uh, Myrtle Wood is indigenous to that area of the world or of the country up in Oregon where Bend, Oregon sits. And um, they've really done well with this. So this guitar has a Myrtle Wood back and sides, Myrtle Wood top, and it is a semi, it, it's, a, it's a satin, but it's almost gloss. It's a really nice, and it's, you know, another company calls it, uh, we'll call it quiet satin. This is also very quiet. Um, and it's a gloss top, so it really brings out the colors and the, uh, you know, the striations of the woods, okay, the chatoyants, as someone once told me at the factory. Um, but I remember being out there at the factory several years ago when they first started talking about these Myrtle Wood guitars, and I was like, oh boy, they're stepping out on a limb. <laughs> no pun intended. But um, they had this tree in the room where we have our meetings out there. I've been out there several times, and, and I'm like, what is that beautiful tree? It's, it, they made a stand, and it held like six guitars, and it's this beautiful piece of lumber. And, it's, and they said, and there were no guitars hanging on it at the time, and they said, that's Myrtle Wood. I said, wow, are you going to make guitars out of that? And, I, and they said, yeah. They said, we want you to play a couple of them and tell us what you think. So we went and found a couple that were in the early stages of finishing, and I said, this is going to be a hit. And they, they did it, and it has been a hit. So anyway, to get into this particular guitar, like I said, Myrtle Wood, Myrtle Wood, it is East coast rock maple so like a hard rock maple for the neck it's not going anywhere it is african ebony fretboard and bridge uh bone um uh, nut and saddle and uh there's a funny word for it boobulus boobulus had to say that uh breed love tuners on this beauty um great looking purfling on this it's kind of a a, a herringbone kind of thing and uh, obviously the beauty of the Myrtle Wood just brings out the, uh, what this guitar um, is all about. It's got the offset um, inlay dots. Um, again, this, is, this guitar was meant to be, at, in the beginning, it was meant to be a price point guitar. It was meant to be a USA made guitar with, um, you know, environmentally conscious uh, harvesting of woods. So it's a price point guitar, all made in Oregon, okay? And uh, so this guitar, these guitars were $13.99, $14.99, and they kind of stuck with that simpler inlay set for these uh, Oregon guitars. <clears throat> um, so this is still a very, very good guitar. I mean, extremely good guitar for the money you're paying. I think this one's like sixteen ninety nine for an American-made guitar. It's crazy, and it sounds great. Now, this particular guitar, because it is a concertina, okay? I, haven't, I don't think I've said that yet. It's a smaller body guitar, so you're not going to get that big rumble 
like you will out of their concert model and especially the concerto model, okay? So you're going to have to kind of adjust your, uh, your expectations, I guess, because it sounds great, but it sounds great in its own way. It's not going to sound like a dreadnought or a jumbo, so get that out of your head. It is a... Uh, it is a 25 inch scale and it is a inch and three quarter nut. I'm gonna play a little bit here for you so you can hear and I'm not gonna make any, I'm not gonna tell you what I think of the sound because I think you should, you should, you should um, hear it for yourself and make your own assumptions, make your own, uh, you know, your own conclusions, draw your own conclusions. So, um, if you have questions, we're always here, and I'll tell you what I think, but I want you to think about what, what it sounds like to you. So I'll do a little more strumming, I'll do a little bit of finger style, and then I'll do a little bit of noodling, just minor noodling, not in a minor key. Yes, it will be in a minor key. So, so here we go with some strumming. Sorry about the little mistake there, but you can get the tone, the idea, the tone of the guitar. Um, do some finger style here, and I'm going back to my old, one of my old favorite tunes from the Screaming Cheetah Willies. So, giving you props. I hope you don't uh, throw us in jail for this. So a uh, little little noodling. So I'm going to strum it pretty hard here being very careful not to put any pick scratches in the guitar and I want to see if this thing has a kind of a ceiling or where it starts becoming compressed and uh, we'll, see, we'll just see where that is so This thing will take, will take a uh, campfire song retreat. So it, it, you know, I did feel like it was starting to get into like a little bit of a compression thing, right when I was really hitting it hard there. So there's a lot of headroom in this thing, and I think it sounds great. Um, it's, I will tell you what I think now. Hopefully, you've formed your own opinions, but it's, it's kind of got a little boost in the upper mid range, a little scooped out in the uh, low mid-range. Still got a little bit of low end to kind of support it. It's not all just highs, but it does accentuate the upper mids and the highs. Um, and that's because of the size of the guitar. It's a concertina, so this is kind of a substitute, what I want to call an upgrade, to a parlor guitar, okay? A lot of parlor guitars just don't sound that good. And uh, this concertina, they really put a lot of effort into making it big where they can, small where they can't, where they, uh, where they have to. And they made the sound hole a, different, a bigger size, so it kind of lets a little bit more out, okay? So, um, so this is just a great guitar, beautiful, obviously. And we've got several uh, Myrtle Myrtle guitars, and, and they also do Myrtle Wood with Sitka. Um, and there's a lot of cool stuff going on with Breedlove, and we, we, we generally tend to have a lot of them in stock. So... What I will say now is thank you for watching the video. Thank you for taking the time. Hopefully this was helpful. You can maybe compare it to some of our other videos if you're having trouble deciding between a particular breed love guitar. Um, if you have any questions, we are always here. We, we like to call ourselves the good guys. 
We like to call our service old school service because we like to do it the way it's supposed to do, where you call us, you email us, you live chat with us, and we're here to help. We just want to help. We're not going to force a guitar on you or our opinions. We'll tell you what we think if you want to hear it, but we're here for you. Also, please do two things, and this will be cool for you. It's a great thing. There's no downside at all, is subscribe to the YouTube channel. You'll get notifications and when new stuff comes, when we make new videos. More importantly, sign up for our email, uh, subscribe to our email list. And what you get there are deals. You get, um, you get a daily, uh, daily uh, list of what just came in. So you'll be the first one to know when that new hot item comes in, whether it be a guitar, an effects pedal, an amp, whatever it is. Um, and then also, you, like I said, you'll get deals and you'll get uh, info on our sales and all those things. So please sign up. Please call us, chat with us. We're here to help. We have a very close relationship with everybody at the factory, and we would love to help you um, get your next Breedlove guitar. So thanks a bunch from moreguitars.com. Call us anytime.